Hello Cancer, welcome to your tarot reading. Please only take what resonates, what makes sense, what fits for you. And whatever doesn't resonate, just leave it on out. It may be a message for someone else. And let's get right into this reading. Here we go. All right, for Cancer. <clears throat> All right, the Knight of Wands here. So there's some excitement. Someone's ready to rush in, charge in. They're really excited about being with you. But you might feel like you're at a, a crossroads here. Like you're really not sure about it. There's a little bit of indecision. Some of you may feel like you're just kind of really protecting your heart, being very cautious, being very guarded as you move forward. But there is excitement here. Okay, I see a new direction here for you. All right, this is with someone here that you feel really close to, like you're building a friendship with, you have history with, okay? You could also have history with this person. This is also soulmate energy here. So, okay, a deep connection as well. A lot of passion, desire, and wanting to uh, move forward, wanting to kind of just conquer the moment and go with it here. So someone's feeling really excited about you and about this connection. Let's get a little bit more here. All right, yeah, someone definitely wants to step up. They want to take charge. The Ace of Pentacles here, beautiful opportunity. Uh, this person's very serious here, okay? It's either they're thinking about taking things to the next level here and really uh, putting in that effort to show you how much they want to be with you. So I'm definitely seeing a lot of wanting to work at this, wanting to show you how loyal they are, committed to you. They are. They're definitely going to want to give you something here. Okay, this could be a surprise. Uh, this is all about reciprocation here. So like they're definitely wanting to give you something here, give you something that you deserve wanting to step up they're wanting to take charge because they feel really passionate about you they feel like you are their person they feel like you're desirable that you're fun to be around you're exciting i feel like what you're attracting here is a serious relationship okay so definitely a major change here a major beginning for you I feel like you're also letting go of a lot of dead weight, like you're letting go of a lot of stress, a lot of worry, like having to carry the same things, deal with the same things like over and over and over again. I feel like this is something that's changing. You're attracting someone here who's going to bring balance into your love life and give to you easily without even having to ask for certain things, like it's just going to be given. Okay, that's what you're attracting here. Yeah, marriage, moving in together, right? Talking about those big moves here. Okay. Some of you may feel like you have an important decision here. You're just trying to figure it out, which direction you're going to head in. Let's take a look at what you need to know. Okay. Some of you might need a break here. You might separate from someone or there's someone who may want some time and space alone. Like they want to do their own thing here. I do see a uh, conflict here. Like there's going to be like a disagreement or not getting along here, which causes confusion. It causes this upset. It causes this, okay, well, what are we going to do now? Where do we go from here? Someone here may also have fear of moving too fast, that it could ruin things, that it could mess things up. But someone here is also ready to give, ready to show you where they're coming from. Yeah, there's a lot of independent energy here. So again, someone may want some space. Someone may need some time. You might start to see that this person is being really quiet, not talking a lot, kind of withdrawn, keeping things in. It may seem like they're also putting up a block, a wall, like a front here. Um, like they're just not open. They're just not accepting, just not ready. And this could be your energy as well. Again, it's like someone's just like, no, back up. I'm not ready. I'm I just, I'm not with it. I'm not feeling it. There's a lot of disappointment here. Okay. Let's see. Let's take a look at the outcome here for you in regards to love. Oh, it's going to be really heavy. There's a lot going on here, really up and down, but it is very intense. I do see it moving forward here. Okay, so it's definitely going to move forward, but I think it's going to take time. I think this is going to be kind of one of those slow movements and moving forward together because there is a lot here that needs to be uh, in control. There's a lot here that needs to be protected. It needs to be clear. Like you need to kind of um, like get it together here 
with each other, making sure that you both are making the right moves, making sure that the two of you are communicating, making sure that one person is open, is ready, is receptive to an offer and knows exactly what they want to do. No confusion, no fear, no ties, no negativity here. I feel like you're not wanting to move forward into that. You want to move forward into something serious, into this beautiful opportunity that you have here on this table with that Ace of Pentacles, okay? So let's look at signs here. You have Gemini, Cancer, Aries, Pisces. All right, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. Okay, some of you may start to feel like there's certain things that are off here. Uh, it's almost like there's someone who... They're not revealing a lot. Like they're kind of just keeping it quiet. They're being really like suspect, like just acting weird or different, right? It's very chaotic. It's very up and down. And it's, you're starting to see a lot of pettiness. You're starting to see a lot of bickering. You're starting to see a lot of, okay, why are we bumping heads? Why are we not getting it together? So again, I, th I think you're going to start to see a lot of changes here as you move forward. Okay. But I definitely see forward movement. A lot of changes. That's the biggest thing when it comes to this connection. You two getting on the same page. I feel like that's the only way that this is going to work. It can no longer be that up and down, like uphill battle without actually making some steps, making some progress. I feel like that's what needs to change as well. But let's see. Let's get a little bit more here. For cancer. Ooh, okay. One almost came out. Let's see. Oh, there's a mystery here. Yeah, see, it's definitely mysterious. Like, there's a lot here that's just not clear. Cancer, what is going on here? Like, that's the thing. That's the dilemma. What is going on here? We just don't know. Talent, gifts. There it is. There's that gift. There's that surprise. Someone's definitely going to want to surprise you here. Okay, again, this could just be flowers. It could be a kind gesture. But I really feel like it's something big here. I feel like this person is really going to try to wow you, going to try to give you something here uh, that's going to make you happy. Something you've been wanting. Okay, let's take a look. Let's get a message for you. Okay. All right, Cancer, you have 88. You are on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which bring financial and material abundance into your life. Wow, I am wealthy. So let me say this with what you're attracting. Okay. The first card I pulled for you was that Ace of Pentacles. Okay. That is what you want to see when it comes to wealth money, success. So for those of you who might be at a dilemma here with when it comes to job, school, career, what you're trying to do for yourself, my goodness, this is beautiful. So you have definitely, um, you're advancing forward. I feel like in your career, in your school, something that's going to really help you flourish and achieve that success that you've been wanting here. Some of you may also be stepping up here into a leadership position, like taking charge. So a lot of abundance, uh, heading your way. Interesting. Okay. Hey, I love that. Let's get a little bit more here. All right. For cancer. What else for cancer? Okay. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Sick of you guys. Wow. <laughs> you will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement. I want you guys to look up the number eight, okay? And also 88, but look up the number eight and you have success here. It's your time to shine success from what you pour your heart into. What's important to you? The direction you wanna head here. That's what's important. This is beautiful. I love this reading. This was really positive, really exciting. It does feel like there's just like this advancement forward. This change is going to bring you these beautiful blessings, right? With that wheel of fortune. It's like you've been waiting for it. You've been working hard for it. You've been conquering it. You've been going for it. And this is the time where you're going to see a lot start to materialize here. So cancer. That's what I have for you. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please like, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. Sending you love. Bye.